Before we start this video, you really want to watch this whole thing because there's a lot of different things going on. I want to thank Yahoo Mail for sponsoring this video and talk a little bit about them. Their new design makes it so easy to organize all your inboxes, all your emails, and you can connect and manage all of your different accounts through it. So you don't need to make a new account, which is really, really nice, but it makes it so easy to be able to unsubscribe from all of those different mailing lists and things that you put yourself on when you were really little and then you just don't know what to do with them now. I know I'm guilty of being on like 300 different ones, so it makes it very easy to get that out of the way and go right to the important stuff on your email. It also makes traveling a lot easier, which is also very important to me. I travel a lot and especially in this video out of the country. They have all of your boarding info right there and it will let you know gate changes, delays, cancellations, all of the above. So that way you have a very stress-free travel experience. You can also find coupons and deals on Yahoo, which is really cool because we all love a good discount. I encourage you all to download the Yahoo Mail app now. It will be down below or you can just go on the app store or wherever and type it in. Very easy, very nice, very efficient. Now we're gonna get into my Canada vlog. This is like a roller coaster of emotions in this video. I you just have to watch. I hope you enjoy. Let's let's get started. Thank you to Yahoo Mail for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now let's get to the travel vlog. So on my birthday, my friend surprised me with a trip to Montreal, Canada with a clue of maple syrup, an American Airlines plane, and a Canadian flag. And they basically told me I had a couple days to pack and we were headed there. checking in and I had to manually type in my passport number because the machine I was using wasn't working and it said my passport expired and it was really scary even though it's not until 2022. It's a really big spook there. <laughs> There's our plane! Gotta buy all the outfits. Now, at this point, it looks very confusing. One minute we're being shuttled out of the airport on the runway into an ambulance, and the next we're just like going again. First off, we were all trying to keep each other calm, which is why in the situation I was trying to make Erin laugh, but the doctor released her, said she was totally safe to fly the 7 a.m. I was fine canceling it. I just wanted her safe, but she was persistent that we were going because it was my birthday trip and she was not taking no, so she was safe, all good, bye. <laughs> I cannot wait to explain my story. Oh, we, we haven't explained anything yet. We have a lot of time. I need to do a sit down. We're waiting for. Oh, there they are. <laughs> my God. What? So let's turn more lights on, right? Yeah. This was so worth like the extra wait. What? Wait, why is this so big? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Does it like stretch all the way around? Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna go get some Italian food. Oh my god, it's freezing. So pretty. We're just all getting ready. Hello everybody, we've been really bad at filming, but today we're gonna give you all the content. And we're gonna do a story time. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? Hey, I don't know if I'm gonna be too cold. Basically, I'm going out in just this, but um, no, I'm kidding, I need a jacket for sure. What's Sierra um, doing in there? Oh yeah, basically we had some, um, <laughs> we had some good food last night, but it didn't really agree with Sierra, so she's been a little sick, but she's getting ready, and we're gonna have some yummy food today. It's because the veggie burger potentially wasn't a veggie burger, and she's vegetarian. That's what we're thinking. We both tried it, it was a little off, but I had a really good veggie pizza, so I was okay. We didn't really eat yesterday, so we were starving. Today we're gonna get some coffee. Oh no, we're going to Tim Hortons, right? Is that what mm -hmm. you said? Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons. Yeah, like, why do I always pronounce the T really hard? Tim Hortons. Hey, girl. I'm just sweating. Our view is so good, and there's some snow that's on there. So pretty exciting. It's cold. Okay, when we think we can handle the snow, we can. <laughs> I'm like, hi guys. So we have had 
the most interesting past, I would say like 30, 40 hours. hours. Yeah. And we're gonna explain that because I already kind of talked about why we're here. They surprised me for my birthday. Oh, the sun's right. coming in, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> We we're switching locations again. This just isn't working. All right, Wait, this is this the final movie. I'm feeling really trapped in this thing. <laughs> Can we move that? I don't know. It like works. <laughs> <laughs> this bed? I like the bed in way. Literally. <laughs> Where do we even start with this? So... Anyway, so... Okay, wait, I'll start, I'll start. Okay, so basically I've been sick for the past like week, ever since we went to LA. So, okay, so before Sierra and I drove down to meet um, Ella and Ellie at the airport, I grabbed an old prescription bottle that I had from when I had a similar cold, which again is very dumb and I realize that now. A lot of learning lessons. There's a lot of learning lessons. That's why we're gonna share this. And so I brought it and with me. And it's from a couple months ago, right? Yes, so months you ago. didn't really remember like what it looked like, what it was. I don't remember what it looked like at all. Actually, I don't think I ever took it. Oh. I think I had it and never took it because I got better. So I never okay. seen what the pills actually looked like. Then we get to the airport, we're all excited, and we get through security, and I fill up my hydro, and the key thing is they were in a plastic bag. And so I, that, that I had nowhere. grabbed from my medicine bin, which I thought they were my essential oils. My mom always has in a plastic bag. And they look the exact same. So I put them in my pockets of my sweatpants, and I put like a handful in, so there was like, Seven of them. I'm so pale. Why does <laughs> wait? Why better, right? No. <laughs> um. Once I filled my hydro, no one really saw me, but I took a she handful just, yeah, took no and just took them, thinking they were essential oils. Immediately, like two minutes later, I started feeling shaky. She was kind of acting a little off. We get the snacks. We go over to go sit down well, by our gate. We went and sat down, and I ate both the bags of chips. And I kept saying, "I was like, I feel really shaky." Yeah, and I was like sweating. Oh, you sweating? Your hands, you were and I could like stop yes. shaking. I ate both the bags, and then once my feet started to feel really tingly, I like it all clicked that those possibly weren't essential oil pills, and that my other prescription like. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, and then once we looked, we realized they looked very similar, but we realized that mm -hmm. she took the wrong one. And we were able to figure out that the ones that she took, you're only supposed to have three of a day, like morning, afternoon, night, and she took seven of them. So we all started yeah. freaking out. I tell them to go to the bathroom to try and get her to throw up. I call my mom, who was asleep, because at this point it's, it's midnight. Like, yeah. And we're about to board in we're 30 about to minutes. Board. Yeah. Like the timing of this is all very... Yeah. Well, luckily her parents are doctors yeah. and all the weird stuff Wait, yeah, wait. So yeah, I'll explain like calling yeah, points you, and So I woke both of my parents <laughs> up and they weren't as concerned because we thought they were only 100 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Then we checked, they're actually 200. <laughs> and her parents were calming us down as my mom's yeah. crying. Cause, and then they were just in the bathroom. I couldn't go check because I was too scared. Trying to yeah. throw up jalapeno chips. Poison yeah, control. So my dad sends me the number for poison control. And I talked to a guy. And he's like, no, she needs to go to the ER like Immediately. as soon as possible. Yeah. They come out and she's like, I threw up a little bit. And I start running through the airport. And thank God it was at night. And it wasn't like crazy because this yeah, airport was like, really, really busy. Strong. I'm asking different workers. No one's helping me. They're like, uh, I think like the doctor's closed at the airport. Finally what? find this nice man who helps me. And this older lady calls the like medics at the airport. So then medics finally come. It was this long ordeal. We're like searching up and down. They're not coming. Um, my mom doesn't know what's going on and we're trying to switch our flights because we weren't so, gonna be going on yeah. that one. Yeah, no, <laughs> Sierra, Sierra made sure that we could still get on flights to yeah, come here. Yeah, thank you, Sierra. Yeah. We really saved us there. Or else we were gonna, because if you don't board your flight and you haven't changed it, then we would just lose the money yeah. on them. Mm -hmm. So she was like dealing with that. We're able to do that. They're like calming you down. And then next thing you know, they're like, you need to take an ambulance. Like you can't Uber to the airport. So we were trying to Uber because I know ambulances are very expensive and we yeah. all have to dramatically get escorted so, underground through the airport and this is where <laughs> the footage gurney. is inserted. On a gurney. Yeah, she's on, she on the gurney oh, and gurney. we're all just walking behind in disbelief that this is yeah. happening. As we see our plane to the right, that's, that's literally getting off. boarded with people. Yeah, that's the best part. We were literally watching our plane board. Because it was right next to this. And then we get on the ambulance. The guy was really nice. He calmed so us nice, down. Yeah. And then we got there. Our mom met up. And then all her like vitals and everything was like perfect. So they just watched her overnight. Mm -hmm. We got on the next flight. And now we're here. Don't, <coughs> don't take medicine. That, unless you know exactly what it is. And also like. only when you're prescribed, like be smart yeah, with it. Cause didn't you just... say that earlier in the week you've had this cold, you were being like, kind Yeah, of so I would I would taking. take like, yeah, I was very careless with like Sudafed and music, which is not right. But I just, when you're sick, you just want to feel better. So yeah, we're gonna yeah. cut, cut that now, but. So let's go get some coffee. We're, gonna, we're just gonna switch it to yeah, that now. Basically more it's of the story, times. just be smart. Yes. But she was all mm -hmm. in travel and we're gonna have a fun couple days here. All right, everyone. All right, let's do this. Wahoo! I don't want people to be like, oh, you're so dumb. Like, dumb stuff happens to everyone. Like, we all make dumb mistakes. And and you learned your lesson. I learned it won't happen lesson, again. And it honestly won't happen. Like, it, it's going to prevent me from, or make me be more careful. And it can help people that are watching this, yes, too, exactly. to be smart. That's why we wanted to share it, so. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs>
Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? This feel like some out of deal, how you feel, not important All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches, but don't be coming at me with that horse shit It's hot, really good though, it's so good, it's really good There's like very subtle snow out the window right now, but you can't see <laughs> Wait. That's so cool, can you see it? Yes, oh my gosh. This like escalated fast. It went from like being sunny to literally snowing. Wow. This is a long time to be waiting. <laughs> yeah, basically we just blew our money in clothes. We're starving. We're starving, so we're gonna go back and make some dinner. Sierra has crafted these beautiful salads, fresh from the market. Yum! Gluten dairy free pasta. That's what we like to see. The sun sets really early here, so it feels like it's 10 p.m., but it's literally like 6 p.m. But for now, we're just gonna do this, do some schoolwork, and our view is literally insane, so I feel like just mm -hmm. sit here and just enjoy. Enjoy. Dreams can last forever. Look at this. Is this snow or is this just like frost? Whoa. Hi. Today is our last full day here. I feel like this trip has literally gone by so fast. Literally yesterday was our first day and today's our last. But yesterday was so much fun. Our little dinner we made was so yummy. And then we're gonna go to Old Montreal today because, and I'm still wearing my Canada sweatshirt. Okay, I need to get ready. My feet are literally gonna fall off. Hey. <laughs> Getting ready? Yeah. Just woke up. Okay, took a little nap. Like, took a little nap. We were up really early for no reason, and that was really dumb. We have been up for literally hours, and we're starving, and we're ready, and they're taking forever. So, <laughs> that's all I had to say. And we went to Starbucks this morning, and they gave us an extra one of the caramel brulee latte, which is really cool, because these are way too expensive. Mmm. She's in a crop top. It's 30 degrees and she's in a crop I'm not even cold anymore. Oh my god. Wait, can we go back to our parallel universe and dance? <laughs> it's our parallel universe. Go on. What the heck? Hi. We just all took like a two and a half hour long nap. We were so tired, but we basically just went around Old Montreal today and it was so pretty and we got some really good food and it was snowing again. It's already dinner time and it literally feels like these days go by so fast because the sun literally sets at like 4 p.m. And that's one thing I do like about Arizona. I feel like the time change doesn't really affect it that much. But we're gonna go get some dinner for our last night here. We have a pretty early flight tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna walk there with the big jacket on. That's what's happening. Basically, we walked all the way in the freezing cold to this karaoke place, but you have to have reservations, so we found another one. So we're in an Uber there. Everyone say bye! bye. Goodbye, Canada! Welcome aboard your American Eagle. I wanted to come on here and properly end this video because I feel like it just jumped around a lot. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned a lesson or two out of this. That's why I wanted to share all of that. I'm just glad that Aaron was safe and we still had a really fun and comfortable trip. I just wanted to thank Aaron, Sierra, and Ella for making it such an amazing birthday and birthday trip. I promise after now, Birthday talk is done. I feel like it's my birthday for like two months. So we're officially done after this, but I hope you enjoyed. I do want to talk about an organization in this video and it's called the Wander Club. The Wander Club makes little like keychains and engraved little like tokens, basically for different memories or places you've traveled to. And for every single one purchased, they donate a meal to an orphan abroad. I think that's really cool because you're getting a little piece or memory of helping a child. So it's a really cool concept. I'll have the link down below. I'm gonna purchase one as well because I think that is just absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope I will see you in my next video. Okay, I love you, bye.